We gave up 91 points to Fullerton. Uh, we came back the next day and we didn't touch a basketball. Instead, they stressed individual and team defense, and Coach Braswell issued a challenge to his team. We're going to be as, as good as we can be. We're going to have to change things defensively. The Matadors have done just that as they held Cal Poly to 55 points en route to another Big West victory. The Matadors began the game struggling from the field, but Coach Braswell's emphasis on defense paid off. We always tell our guys, there's certain nights your shot's not going to fall, but one thing that should be always a constant and consistent as your defense, and there's no excuse not to give a great defensive effort. So uh, clearly that kept us in the game. We were able to get some turnovers and steals, got some easy buckets, and, and uh, that's what we depend on. The Matadors got to virtually every loose ball, caused numerous turnovers, and held their opposition to 23% shooting in the first half. With point guard Josh Jenkins hobbled with a high ankle sprain and big man Tremaine Townsend in foul trouble, the Matadors got big help from their bench. Forward Willie Gaelic dominated the painted area, adding 8 points and 11 rebounds. He talks about what lies ahead for his team. We have to keep pushing ourselves and keep wanting more and keep just striving for that conference championship. I'm here at the Matadome where things are quieting down. The Matadors just won their fifth straight and seem to be getting hot at the perfect time as the conference tournament is right around the corner. In Northridge, I'm Spencer Lazara for Valley View News.